There's the corner side. Thanks for 58 years. Oh, see, 8 p.m. Thanks a lot, Ham. Oh, there's George. What? There's George. The guy who owns it. I worked for you. I said, I thought your face looked familiar. Wow. Went wild. Wow. So this edition was new in the 90s, right? Pretty much? No. Oh, this? This is this, this add-on part. I don't yeah, know. right. This when I worked here, I don't think it was there. This is no, it right. wasn't. I think it was, I don't remember. I think it was... Yeah, it was probably in the early 90s, oh. 90, 1991 maybe. Yeah, I enclosed it. Yeah. I remember how cold it was. Oh, yeah. Time in the wintertime. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I remember that. It was cold. And this worked out good in closing. I know we put these uh, yeah. heaters. Yeah, these uh, radiant, radiant heat heaters really helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it keeps. Yeah, it was a good job. I liked it. The first one, was it? Yeah. Buy my wrestling magazines here. Oh yeah. You want me to film when you talk? Oh sure. I don't have nine and a half tapes, so we had to okay. Oh, we were awesome. <laughs> Is this on or no? Yeah. That's cool. Alright. We are with Ham. It's all white over here. What's that? It's the fit your face is like all white. Is that just because of the light? Zoom out a little bit, maybe get. Okay. Sweetheart Market, we got up. Uh, they're closed actually, and uh, George Jr., George Jelsevin Jr. Yeah. Let us in so we could film. Right, right over here. here was the magazine rack. It used to be. Yeah. Just get all my comic books and stuff. Do you know where he went? No, he just went back to the office or whatever. Oh. Um, Time yep. Yeah. Watching in there, you leave notes for what's his name, but you time off all the time. <laughs> this is cool. Let's walk down here towards the deli. There's a, the dairy section. Yeah. I didn't usually do this. This is for the, for the important employees that did dairy. Can you see anything in there? Yeah. I'm yeah, just following you. Oh, this is different. What's this all about? This is how we're here, but I worked here. Wasn't this all the beer area? Oh, there he is. We <laughs> didn't know where you went. I went to turn the lights on. Oh. oh. Yeah. Give you a little extra uh, light. Getting down is pretty good. Yeah. It's only the third day of our 20% of Wow. When does this end for good? Um, July 19th. July 19th? Wow. So that's what? A couple? It's a week from uh, Saturday. Actually. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't sure that's why we wanted to try to get in here. Yeah. Um, I love that logo. I gotta get it. We gotta make sure stuff. So your father started this in, in 58 years ago? Well, actually, my grandfather uh, had a fruit stand and a vegetable stand oh. in 1944. And my father um, met my mother in 1946, 47, and he came back from the war. Help them get sugar actually because they wanted to make they're making ice cream. Right. Um, sweetheart ice cream. Show you one of the containers. That's the containers from 1947, 48. Um, those little pint containers that they used to make homemade nice. homemade ice cream. And my father, you know, joined, uh, joined my grandfather. He's the one that started building on. And, you know, is that the same location with the ice cream? Yeah, with the ice cream. You know where the turn lane is? Yeah. That's where the fruits did. Yeah, the fruits did. It's in that turn. The island. You know where the island is? Yeah. Not yeah. the turn lane, actually. It was the island. Well, island. That was where wow. the first. That's cool. We've been moved back, oh, God, three or four times. Uh, wow. Right before your time, our old store was on the corner. You could park only one car, and the back end would be on Route 11. <laughs> one car parked in the wow. front, in front of the store. And, of course, we had to. Everyone down to yeah. widen the road again. And we built this one in 79. Wow. 79. So we've been almost 20, 24 years. Yeah. Wow. 24 years. Yeah. yeah, I know me and 
my whole family, my father and stuff, always shopped here. And yep. You guys are the ones, uh, I don't know if you want to say foolish enough to be my first job. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I was lucky enough. We're yeah. back in the warehouse. It's like, hey, more older, <laughs> older customers want to be crying. Yeah, it's too bad. Like, everything's going to Williams. Yeah, all the Paul. neighborhood stuff's gone, and uh, you know? All the stuff we grew up with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just, everything's changing. Things change. Yeah. Everything's changing. Yeah. I thought it was weird that when, you know, Peter's bought Williams, tore down, built their new one, and then they closed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a, it's a big store too. Yeah, it was huge. Is there a, uh, in a story about behind the name? Scooter Market or just that yeah, some actually, clever yeah, it was that, that ice cream story I was telling you about. Um, my grandfather wanted to uh, you know, start an ice cream business. He was having a hard time getting sugar because it was right after the war. Right. And my father, being a veteran, was, was able to get sugar. So, you know, he, our the family, this family and my mother's family, they kind of knew each other. So. He came up visiting one time and uh, you know, helped them get sugar, basically. And then he met my mother and uh, helped them make ice cream. And they needed a name for the ice cream, and they called it Sweetheart Ice Cream. Cool. Uh, that's where the Sweetheart name comes from. Because the, in the city, there was like another ice cream company called Darling Ice Cream. Oh, it was a long-time brand. And it was kind of a takeoff on the Darling name. We called our oh. Sweetheart Ice Cream. And, and then the corner became known as Sweetheart Corner for some reason. Uh, we actually we incorporated into that name yeah. in 1952. Um, but if you open the big store, you didn't sell the uh, Sweetheart ice cream anymore? Yeah, right, right. Uh, it was hard to compete with. Yeah, the big uh, seal test came in the area. It was a big ice cream company and we couldn't compete. But, uh, and it got harder, harder, harder to produce. So yeah, we did go out and get ice cream. We had ice cream and vegetables and fruits and then built our first store because the nursery care the nursery area was growing rapidly, you know, and they needed yeah. groceries in this area. You know, so my yeah. father, they kept asking my father to put in bread, fill, <laughs> eggs, meat, you know. Little by little he started to add stuff and then had to you know, add on. He had it on that building, I can't tell you how many times uh, he kept adding uh, yeah. partition that section. What I found interesting was uh I assume you, you took over somewhere in the 80s, maybe? About 1990. 1990. 89, 90, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if, if you had, had owned it when I worked here or not in 88. Yeah, our family made it? No, you or yourself. So I know you didn't, your, your father, I assume he retired. Yes, he retired. Uh, I, was, you know, I was still working for him, yes. I was working at that time when you were here. Yeah. So, uh, I was, uh, I just, interesting was that he. Even though he was retired, he would come in every day to yeah, see how the store yeah. would go. Yeah. He still does. He still does. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> in for an hour or two. Yeah. Just, to, just to see, you know, just to help out and do some things around the store. Uh, yeah. Make sure we're minding our business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just keeps things in check. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. 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 And uh, I always thought this store was good. I've worked at Williams, too, and a couple other places around here. I thought this was a real nice place to work for. And you guys, you know, I think you treat your employers fairly. And, Instead of like a big corporation or something, it's more family owned, you get to know everybody. I, I think you're right because I had, you know, it was hard telling my employees that we were closing them out. And, yeah. and they've taken it really well and they were actually supporting me too on that decision. And it's just great to see that they're, you know, kind of on my side that this is a thing that we have to do right now. Yeah. And I've seen some of the people I see in the they've been here 20 years or more. Betty was here, I'm sure, when we were here. She started with us in 1962. So that's about 41 years. Wow. Yeah. Tom Shepard. Tom Shepard, I remember him. 36 yeah. years. And Liz, wow. 35 years. Yep. Yeah, I worked with Liz. I remember her. Yeah. Yeah. We have not been over uh, all for 35 years. We've had a lot of people 20 years in this new store. Right. Well, do you mind if we take a look around a bit? No, not at all. Cool. Thanks.